of all, I just want to say um, thank you. I think, uh, I think we're all here for the same reason. And uh, I think it's to share and it's, uh, it's to grieve, uh, but mainly it's to celebrate. Uh, celebrate Chris's artistry uh, and to hear his incredible music in this, this great building that's had so many amazing bands in it. Um, the way I see it, uh, Chris was a bluesman. Um, he had the blues, you know? And he turned those feelings into songs that made us vibrate and uh, they made us move. Um, and I want to express my gratitude to all of you and to the universe that created this amazing and complicated guy. Um, thank you. After, uh, after Andy Wood died, uh, Chris invited Jeff, Mike, and Eddie and I to make the Temple of the Dog record. And that act of kindness of his generosity and selflessness turned a tragic loss into something that we got joy from and that millions of people uh, felt across the world. Um, story and songs about love and loss, a record the whole world fell in love with. So here we are now with this loss, this pain, this anger, families needing healing, bands needing healing, friendships and relationships shattered, and all of our lives still tumbling along without our leader, a sensitive and gifted Irish boy from North Seattle who changed us all even if we could not change him. Uh, so the question is, now what do we do? What would Chris Alice do? I think this concert is the step in the right direction. Thank you to all who helped make it happen, who donated their time and energy and uh, hard work to put this thing on. A lot of people did this for free tonight, so uh, I'd like to give them a round of applause. Thank you. I also want to take one second to recognize some folks that aren't here tonight, uh, but that we love and miss. Chris's mother, Karen, his father, Ed Boyle, his brother, Peter and Patrick, his sisters, Susie, Kata, Katie, and Greta, and our blood brothers, Mike, Ed, and Eric Garcia. We miss you all and love you dearly. Now, the most important thing I'd like to do is to introduce you to his eldest child. The daughter of Susan Silver, our compatriot in music and art and community from the very beginning, whose vision and perseverance helped create a music scene in Seattle yeah. that went on to change the world. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. Lily's humanity and sensitivity has been self-evident from the time I met her as a baby through her all her 18 years. And like her father, she's a singer and an artist, an intellectual, and a wisdom beyond her years. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Lily Cornell Silver. Welcome Matt Cameron on the drums and wow. Miguel playing Reach Down. 